In today's video, we're going to be talking about a couple of different ways you could, in theory, go about cleaning your silver and why I've chosen to never clean my silver. I'm also doing a giveaway in the VIP club and it ends on October 1st. Join before then to get entered, link in the description. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today I wanted to talk about silver. More specifically, I wanted to talk about cleaning silver. A couple of different ways you could go about doing this if you don't like the toned, tarnished look and why I actually prefer that toned, tarnished look. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos and get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel. Got the brand new Lone Wolf collection out now, as well as the even newer Consistency is Key collection. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated, but today... As I'm posting the video, it is Saturday, September 25th, 2021, but I'm actually filming it on Thursday, September 23rd, 2021, so I have no idea what the spot price is going to be by the time this video drops, so head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious, but I wanted to talk about toned tarnished, discolored, older, maybe you could say antiqued or resembling antiqued, silver coins, rounds, and bars. And as you can see right here on screen, I'm actually really zoomed in, but I have some pre-65 silver quarters, dimes, and half dollars on display. Now, originally, I was never all too interested in 90% silver. In the last year to year and a half, I've grown beyond fascinated by it. I actually can say that I truly love 90% silver now. So everything you can see here on screen, obviously it's a couple of decades old and the older it is, the older it's going to look. This is not any silver that was kept in pristine condition, obviously. A lot of it's scratched up. You can see that a lot of it is toned. You can see there's a lot of marks all over these coins right here. But it's not just the 90% silver that tones or tarnishes or discolors over time. There's actually been a 10 ounce silver bar, which I'll show momentarily. This is something that I've had on screen, on the table in most of my videos since late 2018. So this thing has been on display for quite a bit of time. I don't know if the light is gonna really do it justice, but it has been out and about, not with the plastic wrapper since I pretty much unboxed it. Now again, I don't know how well you're going to be able to tell, but this is actually significantly toned, and I can actually put a this one right next to it. Maybe you can see the color difference. Again, I know the lighting isn't the greatest. Some better examples I can show would be my Aztec calendar round, which I've had for maybe about a year, a little less than a year, I would say, especially over here, the left side. Significant toning. But hands down, the most toned, tarnished, discolored piece of silver I have is this right here, this little Christmas silver round. Check that out right there. Look how dark grayish brown that is. Absolutely beautiful. I love the way it looks, therefore I choose not to clean it. But I'm gonna be including a clip from last Wednesday's VIP Club live stream. I'll leave the link in the description in case anybody wants to join. But I'm going to be including a clip because we went into full detail about cleaning silver and why I personally don't clean silver. A couple different ways some people have gone about cleaning their silver. I'm going to show that clip. Once it's over, I'm going to hop back on and share a couple more of my thoughts regarding the pieces of silver that I just showed right here just now. Here's the clip. Here we go. They call me crazy, but I clean my 90% silver in baking soda and water and it comes out looking brand new. I love... Uh, bright and shiny mercury dime and other amazing silver coins respect for the silver yeah I, I see nothing wrong with that I personally do not clean my 90% silver I'll be honest with you I kind of like the way it looks uh, when it looks uh, 
I, I like how it looks weathered. I like that older look that it has. I just think it looks kind of cool, which is why I'm letting this Aztec calendar tarnish and tone over time. I personally love the way it looks. In fact, almost every single piece of silver that I own that's capsulated came with the capsule. I, For the most part, I don't capsulate really anything, for the most part. Some stuff I do, but it's not really anything that I've ever worried about. Because I don't mind toning. Not only do I not mind it, but on certain pieces, I actually really, really like it. And on the 90% silver that's older to begin with, I mean, it, whether it looks old or not, it's old. So if it's old, I don't mind if it looks old. Somebody says, oh man, that looks old. Well, it is. <laughs> What's the problem? Something old looks old? How strange. <laughs> so I, I don't I don't clean the silver I've never cleaned any piece of silver I've ever had I know that there are a couple different ways of doing so I know some people say that you can get rid of milk spots with the eraser of a pencil I'm going to say this right here right now please don't do that <laughs> don't do that I don't know if it removes the milk spot but whether it does or whether it doesn't it creates micro scratches on the face of the coin now if it's a cull piece of silver if it's like a cull maple that's already scratched up and maybe a little bit toned and you know and whatnot already then you know have at it but if you have an uncirculated maple leaf that just happens to have a little milk spot on it it might not be aesthetically pleasing or nice to look at but if you take an eraser to it it might 100% remove the milk spot, but it'll replace it with little micro scratches that you can't even see. You have to zoom in on a microscope before you're even able to tell. Which at that point, it would no longer be classified as uncirculated. At that point, it would just be as good as cull, which is not necessarily what you want if you paid the higher premium to get an uncirculated coin. You probably want to keep it as an uncirculated coin, with or without the milk spots. Again, I know they're ugly. I know nobody enjoys the milk spots. Like I said about the toning. I like toning. There's a lot of people out there who like toning. I don't think there's anyone that likes milk spots. I don't think there's anybody out there who sees a milk-spotted silver coin and says, Oh, I need that. Now, you might say that simply because it's made out of silver, but odds are the milk spots... Probably not what drew you to the coin in the first place. I will say this, though. Milk spots, as ridiculous as this may sound, milk spots, <laughs> as long as it's not a fake milk spot, it's proof that the coin is real. It has that going for it. Milk spots, whether it be on the kangaroo, whether it be on the maple leaf, those are the coins that I have personally noticed the most milk spots on. I know some people have milk spotted Britannias. I I don't think I have a single Britannia with a milk spot on it. Some people say that Eagles milk spot as well. I have more silver eagles than any other coin. That's still three and a half years deep. Going on four years actually. Almost four years of stacking silver. The base of my stack since pretty much the very beginning has been the silver eagle. So I have more silver eagles than any other coin. And I still, I don't think I have a single silver eagle with milk spots. Not to my recollection. I don't want to sit here and say that I don't have any, but I don't think that I do. And if I do, very, very, very light. Probably doesn't even look like a milk spot. It probably just looks a little bit cloudy, maybe. Not sure. But e even even that, I don't think that I do. But regardless, when it comes to milk spots, it happens. It's not pleasant to look at, but it is what it is. It's proof it's real, though, at the very least. See, I'm a delusional optimist. You give me any type of complaint, and I'll figure out a way to spin it into a positive. I'll figure out a way to turn it into something good. But aside from milk spots, when it comes to toning, when it comes to tarnish, 
when it comes to just simply aged, weathered coins like Mercury Dimes, like what we're talking about over here. I mean, look at the bag that it's in. Even the bag is all like... It looks, it looks almost grimy. I mean, these things have been all around the country. These, these things have been everywhere for, for several, several decades. I mean, let's see. Let's just take one Mercury Dime and see what year it is. 1943. That one right there at the very top. 1943, I think that's the one. Well, this one in the corner. 1941. Think of how many places this one little coin has been. Think of all the hands it's been in. Think of everything it's been used to purchase, both legal and illegal. <laughs> Things been everywhere since 1941. It's an old coin. So if somebody were to sit here and be like, oh, that coin looks old. Good. It's because it is. You're telling me it looks how it's supposed to look? <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. If you want to clean the silver, have at it. There's a variety of different ways you can go about doing so in a safe way that don't create micro scratches on the coin. And by the way, if it's a 90% silver coin, it doesn't really matter too much if it gets micro scratches. Those silver mercury dimes in those Washington quarters on the upper right corner of the screen, those are not uncirculated. So I don't really care too much about the condition. But I like the way it looks. How it looks old. How it looks weathered. I personally just, I think it looks nice. So that's why almost four years have gone by. And to this day, I have still never, not one time, cleaned any of the silver. <laughs> So yeah, that was about an eight minute clip taken from a, believe it or not, over four hour long live stream. I go live every single Wednesday night. I go live almost every single Monday morning as well for the market open. I do monthly giveaways. I have one going on right now. Join before October 1st to automatically get entered. I do daily silver and gold deal alerts and a whole lot more. I guarantee you the value exceeds the cost. Link in the description. But now I wanted to talk a little bit more about the pieces of silver that I showed at the beginning of the video. For example, this one right here, which I know I probably shouldn't even worry about this one. I don't think you can really tell. I don't think the camera's picking up on it. This is actually really toned, especially in the corners. I know the lighting isn't really doing it justice, so I'm not even gonna worry about this, but I've gotten so many comments over the years because this has just been sitting on the table. It's been one of my video props for years at this point. It, it's been making an appearance in almost every single one of my videos since I got it toward the end of 2018. This was something that I got on Cyber Monday, I believe, of 2018, and it was basically my Christmas present to myself. So I've had this thing a while. It's just been out and about ever since, and being that it does not have the plastic wrapper over top of it, to keep it in pristine condition, or, or at least to help keep it in pristine condition, it has slowly but surely toned over time. And I've gotten so many comments over the years from people saying that they can't stand the way it looks and they just want to clean the silver bar. And to be honest with you, there's a reason I took it out of the plastic wrapper. I, I, I kind of like the way toned, tarnished, discolored silver looks. So th this right here, this is beautiful to me. This, in my opinion at least, I think it looks nicer than one, you know, freshly unboxed or, or opened up silver bar or, or freshly brought home from the coin shop in, in really good condition. I actually like silver a little bit better when it has some toning. I think it gives it some character. I think it makes it look really nice. It makes it unique. Next one we can talk about is this one right here, my five ounce silver Aztec calendar round. I'm just going to move it around a little bit to give you guys a, an idea. Another nearly every day video prop, if that's what you want to call it, something that I almost always have on display. A 
a beautiful piece of silver, one of my favorite pieces of silver, hands down my most detailed silver round that I own. Absolutely stunning, with or without the toning. But now let's actually focus on the toning. I did a video a couple weeks back with a microscope and I really zoomed in on the toned areas of this Aztec calendar round and wow. In my opinion, absolutely beautiful, which is why I'm going to be getting two more. I will be getting one that I plan on capsulating to keep it in pristine condition. So it should actually look like this side of the round. Don't ask me why this side is so nice. I, I guess I keep it this side down and this is the one that's actually facing up and this is the one that I really hold on to and whatnot and the oils from my hands and whatnot and everything in the air touches the face of the round if that makes sense. I'm assuming that has something to do with it but I just wanted to point that out. Especially this side right here. I want to laser in focus on that right there. Look how dark it's gotten in certain areas. But anyway, I plan on getting another one, capsulating it, keeping it in pristine condition. And then I plan on getting a third one, obviously, which I want to artificially antique. So it wouldn't just have this grayish brown toning. It'll have actual dark gray and black. I think it'll look really cool. And now finally, last but not least, the most toned piece of silver that I own. Season's Greetings, 1987. Let me just get that to zoom. There we go. Look at that right there. This is not antiqued. This is just unbelievably tarnished. And on screen, I don't know if you can tell. Again, I know the lighting in here is kind of strange, but off camera, it's actually very very brown on camera it might look black but it's actually like this dark reddish brown color it's just absolutely beautiful and then we can flip it over and we can we can see very similar on this side of the round but it is a one troy ounce three nines fine silver round this was one of the first pieces of silver that i got when i had first gotten started late 2017 into 2018 all i was doing was picking up basic generic secondary market silver rounds and I have a whole tube of them right here most of which are actually in pretty good condition not super toned not super tarnished some of them have some toning some of them have some tarnish like this one right here not nearly as much as the season's greeting ones that I just showed but these are ones that at this point I just keep in a little medallion tube. I'll leave these linked in the description in case anybody needs cheap little plastic tubes for one ounce silver rounds. You can fit 20 of them in here and you can get like a 10 pack for like 10 bucks or something like that. Super cheap. Uh, you might want to tape them shut though. The, the lid pops off very easily and you don't want your rounds going all over the place. But that's what I keep these in. And when I had first gotten started stacking, this was one of the rounds that stood out to me the most because I got this randomly. Sometimes I'd stop by the local coin shop, but I know I got this one online. I never knew what I was going to get. I would just order random design silver rounds, and this is just one that I happened to get in the mail. I believe I got it from either Atmex or JM Bullion way back in early 2018, probably, or mid-2018. And most of the rounds that I had gotten at the time were in pretty good condition or they weren't heavily toned or really had any discoloring. Maybe a little tiny bit around some of the scripture or the, the lettering, but this was the first one that I got that was this heavily toned. And from that point forward, I was like, wow, I love the way that looks. It's absolutely gorgeous and I would never want to clean this off. Same thing could be said about the Aztec calendar round that I just showed. Or the sunshine bar that I just showed. Or any of this 90% silver on screen. I have no desire to clean any of it. I like the way it looks. The older it looks, the cooler it looks in my opinion. 
that's just me. If you want to clean your silver, you absolutely can. Just make sure you're not causing any micro scratches on the face of your silver. That's something that you definitely don't want to do. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. When it comes to cleaning your silver or even cleaning your gold, is it something that you do? Do you like your coins to look bright and shiny and borderline brand new? Or do you prefer the older antique look when it comes to the precious metals? And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of brand new videos over there. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations. And of course, the brand new DYDSS Lone Wolf t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, coffee mug, and long sleeve tee, available in four different colors, and a portion of the proceeds are going towards the International Wolf Center. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. When it comes to your silver, when it comes to maybe even your gold. Do you clean the precious metals? Is it something that you do? Do you prefer your constitutional silver or even your pure silver to look nice, fresh, brand new, pristine condition, nice and shiny? Would you rather it have that bright white look or would you actually rather it have that gray toning, a little bit tinted, a little bit discolored. You think it gives it character? Because that's kind of where I'm at. That's why I personally do not clean any of my silver. I've never cleaned any of my silver. I don't believe I ever will. I like the way it looks, just like this. Everything you see right here on screen. I am unbelievably drawn to how this looks right here. So I plan on keeping it that way, but I'm curious. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.